the approach, if not the mentality? Yeah, I mean, the first unit we were struggling. They they was beating us out of dribble. They were making threes. Uh, we were late on every contest, and uh, you know, then the, the bench came in. They did an amazing job. They they bring us back, and on the end, you know, second half was much better. Speaking of that, Goran, how great was that defensive stand you guys had throughout the third quarter? I mean, great. You know, uh, we have to bring that, uh, you know, 40, 45 minutes, uh, 48 minutes, not only in the third quarter. Um, if we play like that defensively through the whole four quarters, then it's going to be much easier on us. We're not going to put so much pressure in offense, and then we're going to start winning games. But, um, you know, so far... We're still looking for this consistency defensively, but, um, you know, like I said, we have a lot of work to do. So. And only you could have the bank open this yeah. late at night, my man. Yeah. On a I holiday mean, night, 45 seconds left. <laughs> when you got the big guy coming, you got to do something different, right? I mean, you know, I, I got a back-to-back -back turnovers. I, I, had to, I had to make something happen. So, uh, you know, the bank is open, so that, that I take. So, Gordon, congratulations. I know it is fantastic to end. This losing streak. Thank you, buddy. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Gordon Dragic. Huge night. Helping out. God, to get that one to go. We're coming back with John and Eric, and we'll get you ready for Heat Live post game after that. The Florida Department of Transportation is leading every Miami Heat basketball has been brought to you tonight on Fox Sports Sun by Baptist Health, the official health care provider of the Miami Heat, by the Florida Lottery, by Seminole Gaming of Florida, play safe and sound at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Hollywood, and by your local Honda dealer. The Miami Heat have defeated the Detroit Pistons 113-107. And Heat Nation, when your team wins, you do too with Papa John's Pizza. Thanks to tonight's Heat victory, you get 50% off regular menu price items tomorrow on your online order at papajohns.com or on the app. Enter the promo code HEATWIN. Enjoy the savings and the pizza. Well, a three-game losing streak, now part of the Heat's pass. Miami goes to 5-7 and seven with a win. Eric Reed with John Crotty to say this was a much-needed victory for Miami would be uh, putting it mildly after three straight losses, including a 20-point setback to these Pistons. A win was almost required tonight for Miami, and they had to dig down deep after falling behind by 19 points in the first quarter. Big third quarter. I really thought the energy was there. Two nights ago, it was Detroit who really turned the tables on Miami again in the third quarter. I thought Miami really came out much more competitive, more physical, got into the uh, bodies and the drivers of, of the Detroit Pistons, didn't let them get to their game, and were able to make shots. Uh, Dragic was a big factor to me in this, in this win, too. He started the game. It was his first start of the year with Jimmy and Tyler out. They needed someone. We, we uh, had an opportunity to hear from Spo talking about, hey, I want to put the ball – you know, in uh, someone's hands who I can trust, I think, and try to try to limit the turnovers. They were able to do that most of the game. Some of the turnovers happened in the fourth quarter, got a little sloppy, but Bam Adebayo and, and, and Gorn, Bam really shown his mid-range game, which is very exciting, I think, if you're a Heat fan. Uh, you know, he is playing at a high level. Another uh, big scoring night for him, 28 points, but I, I really thought Gorn's ability to get the team organized and get them set 
uh, and, and initiate offense was a big factor. Bam, Goran Dragic, Duncan Robinson. It was really obvious what they did. I think the, the subtle influencers tonight, Kendrick Nunn, at his best game of the season by far, and Mo Harkless, it, it's been a void. It, it's been a little hard for Eric Spolster to fill that last spot. He started Harkless in the second half. Harkless only had three points, but, but his defense helped change the tone of the second half for yeah, Miami. I thought so, too. Did a good job on Jeremy Grant. Uh, had that athleticism uh, and an ability to slide with him a bit and contest on the ball. Made some hustle plays. Uh, pretty uh, active with his hands being able to...